Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Revit Architecture. I am Architect Sonur I from Gladi Studio and in this studio video tutorial, I am going to teach you about the much more improved sun path in Revit 2024 and we will understand what are the changes that have been introduced in this current version of Revit. This is much improved. So this is one of my residential project and I will show you what are the changes that have been done in sun path. So first uh, you can see these icons have been changed in uh, Revit 2024 and it is uh, like uh, this blue bulb you can turn it off and on. So first you can turn your sun path on here and if you select it like the previous version you will get this messages so you can use your project location or you can continue with the current setting so I am going to first select this one and you can see this is the 3D view and you can do a solar study in 3D view and see this is much more improved and you can turn your shadow on here and you can see this is much more improved here and you can also select this icon again and you can see this is the solar study you can do a solar study in 3d view so i'm going to first select this solar study and you can see these are the new terms which have been introduced in revit 2024 like previous version this was not available you can see this previous keyframe these all are in faded uh, you cannot select this one so i will tell you why you can select here and you can see you can change the speed of your keyframe you can do a short uh, animation here you can see this is the sunlight intensity and you can increase or decrease your sunlight intensity you can see you have the sunlight intensity and you can also increase or decrease your shadow intensity here and this is the study type so whether you want a still image or you can do a single day study type so you can do multi day study type and if you click uh, here you can see this single study image study it uh, produces a single image that shows the shadow at the project location so you can uh, do a single image study and you can do a single day from morning to evening produces an animation that shows the movement of shadows at the project location and you can do multi-day study and you can do lighting study type so you can see it produces a single image that shows the shadows cast from the specified sun position so uh, i'm going to first select this single day study type and you can see you can now select this next keyframe here and next key uh, frame next frame and next keyframe and you can play your preview here so I'm going to first play in my preview. You can see this is the short animation here, and you can also play in loop or play or stop animation in a loop. So you can see this is the animation is playing in loop. So now this is the speed. You can increase or decrease the speed here, and you can also increase or decrease the sun intensity here, and shadow intensity also you can select here. Now you can see this is the presets here. So this is in session single day and you can also do one day solar study. So if you select one day solar study, you can do this one day solar study here. And now if you will play preview, you can see this is the one day solar study. You can produce short animations in your architectural projects. So can study about your project whether you you can do a climate responsive design in your project or not you can place windows accordingly and sun shading whatever the climatic factors are there you can introduce by uh, using this sun path solar study and you can stop this one now we can go to summer solar study, solar study and you can play here play in loop and you can change the speed here you can increase or decrease the speed here and you can also increase or decrease sun intensity so this is the much improved in this Revit 2024 and now you can do multi-day study type here also and now you can do winter solicit study you can see this is the winter and you can produce animations here and you can also play your next keyframe here and you can go to previous frame also and now you can also 
select load date and time in the sun settings so likewise you can do here and you can do a sun setting if you click here you can do single day multi day lighting here also and you can change the timing here you can change the location here and you can time interval also you can change from here so this is the improved version here and you can go to multi day study also so you can select multi day study here and you can change the keyframe here so if you can change here i'm going to make it nine here suppose and now i'm going to play preview you can see this is the multi day i can also play in loop so you can lighting study type also you can select here and you can increase or decrease the sun intensity and now sunlight from top right and sunlight from uh, top left you can select so this is the azimuth angle also you can change here you can see this is the changes so if you will practice you can understand and this is the much improved if you are interested in climatic responsive design in your architectural project and likewise you can study this solar study so now i can go to multi day and you can do summer solar study like this here you can see and you can increase or decrease the sun intensity here shadow intensity also you can change so uh, you can play your preview here and after finishing your solar study you can go to file here and you can go to export and then you can scroll down here and you can go to here image and animation and you can select here solar study and you can select your output length all frames and frame per second also you can do here and you can change the dimensions and you can zoom to your actual size here what percent you want so we can change also i'm going to make it 70 percent and you can also make this 100 percent of actual size and now uh, you can also check and uncheck include time and data stamp you can check this and i'm going to click ok and you can save to your uh, folder so i'm going to save this and now video compression you can click here and now it is getting rendered to your animations and we'll check in some time i can see here processing view or animator and can see the frames 651 frames and 3940 42 is completed you can wait for some times so now we have finished our animation and we will check in my folder so i am going to this play here and you can see our animation is done here and you can present in your architecture project so this was the tutorial for the today's session so thanks for watching bye bye